Well, I'm sitting here with Mike with Christian Brothers Automotive uh, in Avondale, Arizona. So thank you, Mike, for taking the time to uh, speak with us today. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So, Mike, can you describe your business to us? Sure. We're Christian Brothers Automotive, uh, Litchfield Park, just uh, on the east side of Litchfield Park and close to Avondale. Okay. Um, we're an automotive repair shop, so we do automotive repair on just about every make and model. Okay. Um, we've had boat trailers in and we've done oil changes on Maseratis and kind of wow. everything in between. Um, so the list of things that we don't do is a lot shorter than the list of things that we do do. So, right. you know, brakes, tires, you know, basic stuff to, you know, engine and electrical, um, undercar, all those sorts of things we get into. So, um, we're blessed to have a body shop right next door and we work right. with them. So we don't do any body work. Um, we don't do engine rebuilds or transmission rebuilds, yeah. um, but we put, uh, those, if that needs to be, we've, we've put a few of those in in our 14 mm -hmm. months of being open and we've got yeah. everything in between. So wow. we've got a pretty talented group of guys out front and out back and yes. they can do the broad range of automotive repairs. Good, good. Well, that's great. It's having uh, uh, the flexibility and being able to work on all the different makes and models and you never know what's coming through the door next. It's, uh, you never know on a given day how it's going to yeah. turn out. and. Uh, some days it's truck days, and some days it's Volkswagen day, and you just never wow. kind of know how the day's going to turn out. So yeah. Just the ebb and flow of the customers as they come in. All right, All right. Wonderful. So uh, what made you decide to get into this business? Well, we, uh, my wife and I uh, got into this business really because of our uh, youngest son, Alex, uh, yeah. who has autism. We really wow. were interested in being small business owners first right. um, to try and create an opportunity for our son um, as he got older, we wanted to you know, really make an opportunity for him to plug into business and contribute um, with the needs and abilities that he had. And yeah. so we went at this from a business owner's mindset and investigated different industries and we got into automotive repair um, for a host of reasons. I mean, most people have cars, most people need to keep those cars going and Correct. you know, we wanted something that um, would be around for a while and so yeah. we thought this would be a good opportunity and we learned about we actually hadn't known anything about Christian Brothers Automotive um, we were living in Illinois at the time and we learned about Christian Brothers Automotive and really liked the model um, they've been around since the early 80s have never closed a location so they've been very durable from that standpoint good business model okay um, and they've grown from uh, originally in Houston and they still have many, many stores in Houston and about half the locations are still in the Texas area, but they've got six, soon to be seven here in the Valley and I think they've got plans for a couple more. So they're growing across the country. Wow, good. So you have that kind of behind you as right. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's it's great. It's nice because we can both be local and you know, yeah. I'm here most days, all day, um, day in and day out, yet at the same time, you know, our warranties nationwide, I get yeah. support from people that Good. have been uh, in the business for quite some time and so you know I think we kind of bring the both, best of both worlds. Best of both worlds, that's good. So um, why did you really choose this profession? Why did you choose mechanics? Well like I said, I mean I think we, we picked the industry because of you know the, the, the business itself, Christian Brothers has been around, has stayed yeah. around and again you know we see all different makes and models in all different years. Again people um, you know, there are certainly those that, you know, turn their car over every two or three years, but there are many, many more that, you know, want to make sure that that vehicle lives on, you know, the family minivan, the, the commuter vehicle, those types of things. And, you know, we want to be there to help people achieve those goals with their vehicles. Right, right, right. Well, that's great. So what drives you on a day-to-day -day basis? What really motivates you? What keeps you going? Yeah, so, um, well, with any startup businesses, the, the bankers and everybody else, you know, <laughs> yeah. have their hand in motivation. Yeah. Um, but really, it's about, you know, we're here to be part of and serve our community and create opportunities for our community as well. You know, I talk about Alex and, you know, creating opportunities for him, but really, yeah. we're trying to use this opportunity to create more opportunities for special needs folks, and we've done yeah. that in a couple of things. Yeah. So we want to be, you know, we want to be... Uh, very reputable, very honest, high integrity shop yeah. and be an example to our community in that way and at the same time we want to leverage that in running a successful business to look for opportunities to create um, you know, opportunities for others that may not have the same chance as others to let them showcase their skills and abilities mm -hmm. as well. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's uh, that's great. They really community minded and, and uh, being involved in the community Absolutely. and helping people. That's Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, what surprises you the most about uh, owning this business? So there's been a lot of surprises. We've been open for 14 months now. Yeah. Um, I think the answer my wife and I landed on was um, this is both a sprint and a marathon at the same time. Sure. I mean, you build a business. You know, we're really interested in building relationships with families in our community and have that yeah. grow and grow. And it's a one by one by one. So in that, it feels a little bit like a sprint. We want every experience for every customer to be perfect. Yeah. You know, how they're treated at the front, how their car's cared for in the back, and everything in between. So that's a lot of energy and a lot of focus. At the same time, we're looking to grow a business that's going to stay and be here for a long period of time. Yeah. Um, as a business, as a place of opportunity for others. And so um, you need to be able to both be, you know, focused on that one by one, very short term event that happens over 24 to 48 hours. And at the same time, doing things necessary from hiring and training technicians um, and making sure they've got on, ongoing training. As you know, cars, you know, with the, they're, they're quickly becoming computers on tires is what they are. And so, you know, being focused on giving them the skills and abilities to be around for a long time, you know, positioning the marketing, the other activities so that your business grows and is stable and steady over a long time. Yeah. So you've got to very quickly be able to shift from how is Mr. and Mrs. Smith going with their 2010 Toyota Camry to right. what's our marketing plan over the next six months? How are we training our guys and doing that? And so, you know, the, the focus and the mental energy it takes to go back and forth and do all those things simultaneously yep. has really been, they talk about it, they tell you it's coming, but until you finally jump into the fire, it's, it's hard to describe really well. So, yeah. Um, we've really gotten a, an appreciation for all that's involved in, in running a business for the long haul. Yeah, yeah, there'd be no question about it. It's uh, there's definitely a lot involved and a lot of moving parts. And uh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So, well, that's great, Mike. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And uh, folks, that's Mike from Christian Brothers Automotive.